Uh, Rosma Mensor, the wife of former and recently jailed Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak, has been sentenced to 10 years in prison for corruption. The 70-year-old was found guilty on three charges of soliciting and receiving hefty bribes in exchange for government contracts. She has been fined 216 million US dollars. The charges against Rosma were that of soliciting $42 million and accepting bribes amounting to $1.5 million between 2016 and 2017. A part of it was to help a company secure a near $280 million project to provide solar energy panels to schools on Borneo Island. Rosma also faces 17 charges of money laundering and tax evasion in a separate case to be heard in November. The verdict was heard in court today after almost four years. Applications to recuse High Court Judge Mohammad Zaini and lead prosecutor Gopal Sri Ram were earlier dismissed. The Defence Council has 14 days in which to submit an appeal against this conviction and sentence. The court has granted Rosma's request to suspend the jail time and fines pending her appeal. The verdict comes just days after her husband was jailed for corruption. CNA's Melissa Go spent the day at the High Court in Kuala Lumpur. Shocked and saddened, 70-year-old Rosma Manso, who arrived in Kuala Lumpur High Court on Thursday, did not expect a court to find her guilty of all three charges of soliciting and receiving bribes over a multi-million dollar project to supply solar energy to rural schools in Sarawak. Her lawyer, Jagjit Singh, has tried to recuse the trial judge last minute for being biased. The judgment, he said, was written by others following a leaked document that was circulated online. But Justice Muhammad Zaini Maslan dismissed the application, adding that he has written over 200 judgments and all were written by himself based on facts and law. Now, inside the courtroom, Rosma made an emotional plea for leniency after she was convicted. Choking at times, she said she was being victimized and framed by her former aide, Brisa Monso, whom had turned against her and became a prosecution crown witness. Now, what happened to her a selective prosecution, she's told the court. Her husband has been incarcerated and now they are doing the same to her. Now, addressing herself as former First Lady of Malaysia, Rosma Manso defended her sterling record, telling the court that she's helped to develop the early childhood education program when she was Prime Minister's wife. Now, for that, she's prepared to serve one day in prison, but instead the judge has returned with 10-year jail sentence and a whopping fine of over 200 million US dollars. And that's five times the bribe that she's convicted of receiving and soliciting. Now it's the largest in the country's history and her lawyer is crying foul. We have got one billion, almost one billion to be paid from my cl our client who doesn't have any sources of income. Is this what we call law of justice? Now, lead prosecutor Gopal Sri Ram said justice must be served against those who are corrupt. It is an evil that we need not, we can do without. So that the public, Malaysian public, whom we all serve, the judicial system serves, the prosecutorial system serves, are entitled to receive their share of justice. Now, Rosma's lawyer has obtained a stay of execution pending appeal to the Court of Appeal. Now, Rosma is currently out on bail, but she will be back here at the Kuala Lumpur High Court soon to face 17 charges of money laundering and tax evasion, over 1.6 million US dollars that were found in her bank accounts. Alyssa Go, CNA, Kuala Lumpur.